Okay, so I'm going to be showing how to disassemble this uh, Asus laptop. It's a N56JN-EB71 or N56J um, for the general um, number. Um, just before I start, I just want to let you know this one is kind of a pain in the ass. So if you're going to attempt it, make sure to watch the whole video first because if you don't, you're probably not going to be able to put it back together. Um, there's like two cables underneath um, this, the way they designed this, that make it very difficult to put back. Um, so just know that in advance. Okay, so first what you want to do is remove the battery. Like in my other videos, just to be safe, you can press the power button and hold it for a few seconds just to drain any excess power. This person has a broken screen, but it's not too bad actually. All right, so just do that. Once it's drained, you wanna remove all the screws. So there's two in these corners. You got two right here. And then underneath some rubber covers, I use like a small flathead screwdriver or you can use a needle. Um, just remove these, the rubber covers, and then remove these screws. All right. And that's all that's like visible at this point. Once you do that, you can pull the CD drive out, set that aside. There'll be two more screws under here, remove those two. Then you can use a small pry tool or your nails, just get between the gap here and pull it down. This will come out. It's a little bit stiff because this one's kind of dirty, but hopefully on yours it won't be too bad. So for this underneath here, what you want to do, let's see here, there's the four screws for the hard drive, remove those. Um, to remove the hard drive, you raise this up a little bit, don't pull too hard or you'll damage this. So just raise it up and then wiggle it out backwards to remove the hard drive. To put it back, same thing, put the front side in first. Um, and then once you get the front into the connector, just push it in and then drop it down, put the screws back. So yeah, if you just pull it straight back, it'll get stuck and it'll be a pain. So just make sure, push that in, lift it up a little bit, and then remove it. All right, so set that to the side. All right, then you got the antenna cables, just like all the other ones, pull from the back of the cable. So you don't wanna pull from the front or you can damage it, so just pull from the back like this. Right. Do that on both, all right. You don't need to remove that screw, so leave that in. Then you got the three screws on the bottom here, one, two, three, and then you got one screw here. So you remove all those screws and then you can get to the pain in the ass part. So what you wanna do is open the screen partially like this. So you got the screen open like that. Then let's see if I can adjust this so you can see better. So once you got it up like that, you can pull on this. Um, you can hold on the metal piece, the silver part, and you can pull on this back case to get it to pop open a little bit. So just do that. And then once you get that, um, the gap there, you can actually go around. Just go around the edges. This one is kind of tough. Um, this isn't even the pain in the ass part yet. But um, so just go around pull this casing off okay so once you get that um, once you got the edges this will actually come apart uh, come up like this so just make sure um, put it like that and then you can kind of undo the clips all right so be very careful with this because here's here's where it gets to the pain in the ass part so you open this up and you look inside and they got this the display cable like going right under here and then you got this other little cable which actually unplugged earlier but it was a pain in the ass to put back so I left it um, that part so that one's um, not too bad because first what you do is you kind of have to adjust this a little bit let me see if you can see better okay so you can see that this little cable is a pain in the ass to put back and then this one also to get it guided through where it's supposed to go is also a pain. So to remove it, first you gotta pull this out. 
so that it's not clipped under this there's a little plastic piece that holds it there so you remove that then you have a little more room so you can kind of move it out of the way this cable would be attached to this like this and then you gotta kind of use your nails or however to kind of remove this thing once you got that out there's a little blue tab and then you just get that blue tab and you pull it straight back and it'll unplug pretty easily but yeah this cable because of the lack of slack it's um yeah a pain in the ass so yeah if you want to attempt this just make sure if you um, aren't able to reconnect that if you aren't able to reconnect this you're gonna have no video and if you're not able to reconnect this one then either this speaker or both speakers. I think both speakers will not be working. So you need that little cable or your speakers aren't going to work. Okay, so just make sure if you're going to attempt this, um, there's probably a good chance that you might not be able to reconnect the speaker cable. This cable is not, not so bad to reconnect. You reconnect this first and then while you're trying to put it back together, you can like guide this back into place so it's not in the way. Um, it, it's not too bad even if you can't put it back properly because this is just like where the fan goes but just make sure if you're putting it back don't force it down it should, shouldn't be too bad to snap it back otherwise you might crimp this cable somewhere or break this damage this cable and then your screen won't work at all so that's the pain in the ass part so once you got all of that done you can set that aside and then you can move to this. At least um, this part is pretty nicely built. Um, you can easily replace this USB thing. I'm not going to remove it, but you can take that out. The two sticks of RAM. Then you got the wireless card here. Um, this SD card slot, you can't remove that. It's all part of this board. You got the keyboard cable, which this keyboard, um, you can't really replace it without replacing this whole piece. Otherwise, you're going to have to, like, melt and glue these things. If you remove this, you have to remove the this metal piece to get the keyboard out. Then you got the fan. And it looks like just held in a, by a few screws. And then you got, actually, the power button here with also the VGA connector. And I'm not sure what this is. I think there's optical um, audio or something like that. I forgot what, what the actual term is. But, um, yeah, so you got that. And then you got the um, charging port here, the DC jack. And then you got this for, what is that? Oh, actually that's the power button. So this is the power button. And then I think this is, I don't know what they use this for, like turbo or launching some some program that ASUS has. But um, that's pretty much it. There's the trackpad connector here. Um, and then I'll show you a tricky thing they did here for removing the DC jack they put this metal thing on top so what you want to do to remove that let me see if I can show you that so I'm not going to show the reassembly process because this one I need to figure out the DC jack if I can repair that by soldering it or have to replace it but um to remove the DC jack you remove this screw here took me a while to figure this out um, but anyways disconnect this one it's gonna be tough but just keep wiggling it you'll see it comes out slowly alright there you go and then you'll have to disconnect this connector lift that latch up move that out of the way take this screw out so that you can lift the board a little bit just so you can get that cable out alright let's so get that out of the way and then this metal piece actually slides. So let's see if I can get a clear view. So what you want to do is you can get the edge and you can push it over. So just push it over. Or grab a bit like that. There's a little hole here that makes it easier. And once you slide it over, then you can take this out. So that's kind of a weird thing that they added there. Um, just make sure that when you put it back, you have it like at that angle again or to the side again and then you slide it over so that's pretty much it that's all I'm gonna show um, because this kind of thing um, yeah you should be able to just reverse the steps 
Uh, but if you can't, I warned you, this one was a pain in the ass. And yeah, so to get the DC jack out completely, just remove these two other screws here. Alright. Go. Then this piece comes out. Make sure you don't flip it upside down. Um, this side's actually a little bit taller, and then this side's shorter. So if you were to put it back and you got confused, yeah. And that's pretty much how you remove the charging port. Yeah. And this one's having issues. You have to hold it at a weird angle. So a lot of times it could be something here coming loose but uh it doesn't seem like it so most likely gonna have to just replace this i'll test it and see but sometimes it can be internally this this um metal piece might have cracked internally so it might it might just have a gap in between and it's not making proper contact so i'll i'll cut this stuff off just to check let's see if i can get it to focus so I'll cut this rubber off just to check if the cable like got broken somehow but it looks like it's holding tight and I like other ones I've worked on so yeah uh, that's pretty much it um, if you attempted this good luck putting it back together um, I know I'll, uh, I'll be able to do it but it's gonna be a pain um, so I just wanted to let you know and yeah if you have any questions or just give me a comment just write a comment below and I'll get back to you. All right. Thanks. Okay, so I pulled the rubber piece off and I found this actually did come loose. So simple fix. Just solder it back together. Um, if you don't know how to solder, um, just look up some videos on soldering. But the easiest way, you just add some flux to the end of this. Heat up, heat it up. And then the solder should flow back in place. You can add more solder if you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, once I fix that, I'm going to put it back together. This part was pretty expensive online compared to other DC jacks I found. It's not that expensive, 15, about 15 bucks. But compared to other ones, you can get them for like 3 less than 10 bucks almost always. So yeah. Since I can fix it, might as well. Alright, that's all. If you have any questions, again, just write a comment below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Alright, thanks.